there you crazy viewers. So on my first video I was talking about work. If you haven't seen that video go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link right here so you can see it or you can click the link in the description and go watch that now and leave a comment. So yeah go ahead. Thank you. But shortly after I made that video I actually moved house to a place of make believe. I'm not going to say where that is actually because you just don't say where you live on the internet because between you and me you never know who might be watching. Probably someone who's bored out of their minds. Hey, what? So after I moved house, the trips from Narnia and TK Maxx and back were costing me more than I was actually earning since I only had an eight hour contract, so I had to leave. I did actually get myself an interview with Matalan and I went suit and booted and I said in the interview that I wanted to work, I wanted to impress, learn and progress. Feel free to use that by the way if you ever get yourself an interview and uh, you don't know what to say. Usually impresses the employer. Unless they're a complete weirdo. So, throw it out there. So I was feeling really happy about myself. There wasn't any questions that I couldn't answer. They said they'd let me know within a day or so, but it had been four days and I hadn't heard anything. So I rang them up to see if I'd got the job or not. But then they said that I didn't because they had too many members of staff and they realised this just after they gave me the interview. That left me feeling mildly depressed and unemployable. Now I'm just sat at home with no work, throwing about the pros and cons of slitting my wrist. But that's not how you should react to not getting a job. So please don't cut yourselves. You should, in fact... Shake the dust off your feet and carry on. Carry on. If you didn't get a job, then don't let it get you down. So just carry on looking and work hard and stuff. Now at the moment, I do attend a college. I'm studying a particularly peculiar course. It's boring, but interesting at the same time. What? I am doing a BTEC Level 3 National Diploma in Business and Retail with a subsidiary diploma in Law. I am now in Year 2. I do have to admit though, I only enrolled on the course because I thought that qualification would look good on a CV. So when I leave college, I've now got this decent qualification. What do I do with it? Where do I go from there? I've never been really sure about what I've wanted to do in the future. In fact, it was always like that since high school. <coughs> A lot of people say they don't know what they're going to do just before they're going to leave high school. I just had no clue. I was just... Everybody had got it figured out, but I was the only one who didn't know. At the end of my last year, I got all my GCSEs and my dad kept on asking me, What do you want to do? 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 do? You know, do you want to go to college? If so, we've got to apply now because it's going to be too late otherwise. Or do you want to get a job? If so, let me help you with getting up a CV and blah shut up. Eventually I just decided just to go to college. Just to buy myself some time, get a decent qualification that would look good on a CV. And when I'm in college, just try and figure out what I want to do. And thankfully now I do have a rough idea of what I want to do. Most of the reason why I made this video is because tomorrow I'm getting a haircut because my dad has managed to get me some work experience where he works. My dad is a branch manager for Beresford Adams, which is an estate agent company. Since I'm going to be sat behind a desk and, you know, wearing a suit and selling houses, I'm going to have to, like, get a haircut and get rid of this. I'll only just grow it out again as soon as I finish. Grow it out again? Why did I gesture like this as if it's going to, you know, grow this big? I actually prefer this getting work idea to going to university. I just don't want to go down that textbook lifestyle of going to university and like, because so many people are doing it these days. I mean, what makes me different? So I've kind of figured why not just get a quality job now and just do it that way and get a head start. So if you like know me or live in the same area as me and want to get work in the same kind of work that I want to get work in, stay out my way. Cause I'll take you down. Downtown. Chinatown. Sorry, that's how it is in the big wide world. Thank you for being my friend and watching this video today. Leave a comment in the comment section about how your experience was in high school, how you think you did in your exams, what you wanted to do when you left high school, or what you want to do in the future. Take your pick of any of those. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.
I'm going to have to go back to the, my book because I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, okay. Alright, here we go.